Hi artists! Since it is April, we are going to start off with a new artist of the month. Families, every month in our elementary art studio, we learn about a famous artist whose artwork is important to art history. This month, we are going to do something very special. We are going to learn about two artists. We are going to compare and contrast Mary Cassatt and Edward Hopper. That means we are going to see how the artists are similar and how they are different. Both artists were American. Both painted pictures from everyday life. Those are things that you and I do every day. But they had two different ways of painting and their art feels different to look at. Let's start by getting to know Mary Cassatt. Here is a map showing where Oak Creek is in Wisconsin. Mary Cassatt was born here, in Pennsylvania, in 1884, and lived to be 82 years old, dying in 1926. Miss Cassatt always knew she wanted to be an artist, even though not many women were artists when she was growing up in the 1800s. Mary Cassatt was an Impressionist. We learned about Impressionism in December when we studied Claude Monet. Impressionists liked painting ordinary life in sunlight, things we do daily like chores, or hanging out with friends, or they paint landscapes. The paintings aren't very crisp and clear. They look fuzzy and have lots of lines and colors all over. Since Mary Cassatt was a woman in the 1800s, that meant she was typically at home. She would often paint families. Look at how the parents and children are not looking at us. They are focused on whatever they are doing at home, such as reading, drinking tea, or playing an instrument. They're spending time together. Next, I'm going to show you many of her artworks, and I want you to answer some questions, either by yourself or with a family member. What are the families doing in each artwork? How would you describe how these artworks feel? Happy or sad, angry or peaceful, lonely or together. Which artwork is your favorite? Now we are going to take a look at Edward Hopper, also an American painter. Hopper was from the state of New York. He was born in 1882, almost 40 years after Miss Cassatt. He lived to be 84 years old, dying in 1967. Mr. Hopper was a realist painter. Realism means that the art looks like real life. He painted pictures about everyday life, much like Mary Cassatt. People are going about their business, not looking at us because they are focused on whatever task they are doing. But in his paintings with multiple people, they aren't looking at each other either. Let's look at Edward Hopper's artwork all together. Again, you can answer these questions by yourself or with a family member. What are the people doing in each of Mr. Hopper's paintings? How would you describe how these paintings feel? Happy or sad? Angry or peaceful? Lonely or together? Which painting is your favorite? Now let's look at both of their artworks side by side. Both artworks take place inside, and each has a woman playing an instrument. I notice that the mother and child in Mary Cassatt's drawing are interacting with each other, while the people in Edward Hopper's painting are spending time alone. Even though there are two people in his painting, they aren't working together. We are living in a time where life has a new normal. We are spending a lot more of our time at home. I wonder how Mary Cassatt and Edward Hopper would paint us in our everyday lives. What would we be doing in their painting? Reading? Playing an instrument? Talking? What items would they include? Would people be spending time together or focusing independently? Just something to think about. All right, artists, so that is all I have for now in our two Artists of the Month. Bye!